You know, it's nice to think that you're doing everything right in Fortnite, but that's not even something that the pros can say all the time. Listen, man, everyone makes mistakes. I make mistakes. No matter how small they are, which means that everyone still has room to improve. Bunch of Crunch Army, today, we're gonna be detailing some of the biggest mistakes that you're still making in season six, so you can stop making them and just really finally start to improve. You guys can do it. Watch this video, you're gonna be so impressed. You guys ready? Let's get this going. All right, guys, so the first major mistake that players make that, you know, really prevents improvement is not getting a variety of practice. You know, when the new season drops, a lot of players rush into public matches or arena to simply just check out the new season. And when Fortnite drops a new season, tournaments follow very close behind, meaning you want to level up in your mid-season form shortly, if not directly after the season drops. I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, like, how am I supposed to familiarize myself with the new additions if I'm not grinding public matches in arena? Well, check this out that's not what we're saying exactly right with the new season drops a lot of players really just tend to get you know hyper focused on getting a chance for the upcoming fncs and cash cups although yes this is the best way to familiarize yourself with the new weapons and loophole additions it isn't everything that you need to know about the new season and so with every new season comes a new set of unique challenges and changes right although like we mentioned earlier you know arena and public matches are fantastic ways to familiarize yourself with the loophole and so with that being said, guys, there is so much more that you need to do to master a new season than just familiarize yourself with that weapon pool. You also have to make sure that you're continuing to spend time in creative, mastering your mechanics, as well as you scrimming often to practice the ending. You know, just because you understand the weapons in Arena, it doesn't mean that it's just going to carry over into games where late games are stacked. Maybe you need to carry more heals than you had originally expected. You know, maybe some guns weren't as good as he thought against higher density lobbies. And so this is a huge mistake players make because regardless of the season, you still have to make an effort to stay above the mechanical threshold. And so when a season has been out for a long period of time and a large majority of players that are good enough to be in champs have already made it there, like you start to see players spend more time in creative due to players reprioritizing their mechanics. And so at the start of each new season, on the other hand, like it's quite the opposite. You know, players tend to not prioritize the mechanics and instead spend a lot of less time in creative. And so if you're a player looking to break into the professional scene, I know that's you, right? Yeah, you. Like the last thing that you want to do, bro, is let your mechanics slack off when a new season comes around. And so make sure, man, that you're spending plenty of time in creative and, you know, you're mastering your craft early on in the season to make sure you're not only meeting the mechanical threshold, but, you know, you're also on the top of that curve. And so these are factors that can only be considered when you use a wide variety of different practice methods. So make sure in chapter two, season six, that you're varying your practice strategies and modes to, you know, really improve as efficiently as possible and you can do it and the first thing that you got to do is change that mindset from negative to positive and know that all things are possible if you can believe and I always say that every single day like if you can believe for the best you will be the best not only in this game but also in life remember that so if you're not having any success by practicing on your own all right why not team up with the pro fortnite coach over on proguys.com like we've got pro coaches who is going to play with you in game and to really give you tips and tricks as you're playing i mean they're going to analyze your mistakes on and really just spot exactly where you're going wrong and maybe they can even fix it and so it's one of the best ways to practice fortnite and really improve super fast you can do it i recommend it and so another very common mistake that will be very apparent in chapter two season six is not considering your opponent's inventory you know for those of you that have played this season you're going to know exactly what i'm talking about yep i'm going to talk about the primal shotgun now the jury is still out on whether or not this gun is overpowered or not but for the sake of this video we're just going to talk about it in layman terms the shotgun meta in this season is very unique and different from past seasons and so for one pumps are back which a lot of people were hoping for in the season but with that comes the purple pump which we all know can be very much a bailout so although it got a nerf this season it is still insanely good and then you have the primal shotgun which we all know absolutely shreds and finally the makeshift that can be upgraded into either the primal or the pump shotgun and so with the shotguns being extremely heavy damage dealing you know opposed to last season alongside the different shotguns being very situationally overpowered you know it's just important to really understand like what you have in your inventory and really just take note of what the opponents has in their inventory for example like if you have a purple pump and your opponent has a primal shotgun although you would just typically want to get close and just try to land that one pump you know that is just simply not the case this season 
And in that situation, like you would just want to stay out of their box at all costs due to how extremely devastating the primal shotgun is at close range. Failure to properly identify an opponent's inventory and shift your playstyle accordingly, yo, it is a huge mistake that will prevent improvement this season. So make sure, guys, that you're always taking your opponent's inventory into account, all right? All right, bunch of crunch on me. It's time for the question of the day. Today, okay, I wanna ask you what you think the biggest mistake you make in Fortnite is that is really stopping you from improving. Be honest with yourself. Come on, think about it. You know, we all have our own mistakes. I have many mistakes, okay? And, you know, while we're just talking about just three of them here, I mean, they're pretty generalized. So, you know, what's your biggest mistake in Fortnite? Like, let us know in the comments. And you already know we read every single one. OK, guys, so the final mistake that will most definitely prevent improvement is not understanding the loot pool. OK, so as many of you guys already know, in this season, they have removed all snipers from the game. <laughs> snipers have always been a controversial topic in the realm of competitive Fortnite, as it was just truly a chopping block in the competitive scene. And so with snipers being removed, removed for a lot of players an inventory slot has opened up as a sniper was just frequently carried by a lot of players so what items should you fill that void with this is where like understanding the loophole really comes in now although this is extremely important every season in chapter 2 season 6 it is even more important due to the addition of bows and their upgraded forms this in this season is a really interesting talking point like they definitely don't fill the void snipers left but if we're being honest they're not really terrible and so we also started to see players choose to carry triple heals as a result of the new space free in their inventory and there are you know a ton of weapons that do incredibly quick close range damage in this new season so it really does make sense that a quick heal option Option alongside your usual healing items would be pretty viable for you when you manage to disengage. I mean, you can never have too much health, right? Finally, okay, a lot of players are choosing to fill that final slot up with some sort of like 4-H consumable. Some players are electing to go with peppers so they can just quickly throw one on and just rotate with the chicken at rapid speeds. And while others are just dropping into places like Colossal Farms and picking up as many cabbages as they can. But I will say this, like you choose to lay out your inventory this season and whatever you decide that you want to carry on a regular basis, the decision needs to be a reflective process. You know, you really got to think about it of why you want to do this. You know, you need to actually fully understand the loophole and that really, really helps, helps me, you know, so that you can just understand if the items you're carrying around are just really the best for your particular playstyle. And overall, guys, just be critical of your items and just go into each match with a solid game plan to build out your inventory. All right, guys, for a quick recap. First, make sure that you're getting a variety of practice in and do not neglect creative and scrims as you grind arena and you work to understand the meta. You can do it. All right, next up, you need to be constantly analyzing your opponent's inventory. Like with the shotgun meta being so incredibly strong, you need to make sure that you put yourself at a mental advantage before the fight even starts. So figure out, you know, what a, what your opponent is wielding and really just change your play style accordingly. And finally, understand the current loot pool and how it's going to affect your inventory. And so with snipers being removed, a lot of players have open slots to really carry extra heals, shields, movement, or even a bow. And bunch of corners show me, okay, these are the four things that you gotta consider so you don't prevent your improvement in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. If you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I know I say this all the time, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on who you are. Keep going, keep getting better in life. And if you want some extra motivation, connect to my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. I'll see you soon. Peace.